this is Sartre here with Mythic MTG Tech, and I've got an exciting guest here today. I've got Corey chatting about a new project that's going on on the East Coast here with MainPhaseMTG.net and some events that are going to be done under the name MTG Battleground. Corey, can you tell us a little bit about what Main Phase is and then what type of events you're looking at running? Certainly, Brian. Hey, thanks for having us on. We just started our company. We want to launch something that can build the MTG community and more as a community and less as a commodity. Offering events like this to places that might not have made the cut to GPs or that have strong communities or, or even communities that need a little bit of help uh, in the gaming realm. And we're going to launch it all with our Battleground event. And we're going to cater to just about every format. So what, what events have you done in the past? And talk about that community aspect of what you're doing, because that's what really excites me most about this. We have so much emphasis in our community on the super competitive events, but Magic is really about the community and getting people together and playing. So, Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't agree more with you, Brian. And um, my partners and I, and you've had a couple of them on your show already, Chris, Christy Nash and, of course, Kyle, who does your... Commander deck techs with you. Uh, oh, these are my great partners. great ready deck tech that he just did recently. <laughs> We're going to be working on another deck tech here in the coming weeks. So, so these are people that for the for the past three or four years, um, we've been we've been doing magic events, community events on military posts while we've all been active duty. And now, slowly as we get out, we realize that we can we can use those services uh, even though we no longer wear the uniform. And we have always offered great events uh, to all sorts of communities, particularly those in and around the military communities. And, you know, I see I've been to so many big events. We've both been to so many big events. And I always see the event. And I know I, I think to myself and I whisper to Kyle maybe, hey, man, I think we could do this a little bit better. I, I see people packed in basements and, I pe you know, they're, they're following over each other or there's the, the, the correct planning hasn't been done. And that's just something that I know we can improve upon, and a, the better image can, can lead to a better community overall. Definitely. And, and with our site, that's exactly where we're going to go. We, you, you're going to see that our, our site has all sorts of events. We have altars for the best altars in the world. We have Christy Nash. We have Kevin Alter. And um, we're going to have some of the most premier events that, you know, that Magic has ever seen. We're going to do stuff that no one, no one has seen before. Excellent. So tell me about this first Battleground event that you're doing in Annapolis here coming up. This will be our launching event. We've done a bunch of promotions. Um, it's, it's coinciding with the launch of our website, which you've already mentioned. This event's going to feature Modern as the main event. It's uh, in season, so of course it works with our schedule. Uh, it's also going to focus on um, standard. We're going to have a standard championship because what would a big Magic tournament be like without a standard championship? And of course, because it's an event run by us, there's always going to be a commander uh, finale showdown, if you will. So tell us a little bit about that uh, commander finale showdown. I've covered the commander league, so I'm already on this channel, which is super exciting. So commander players, when they come to this event, I mean, at other events, they kind of have to fight for space and be kicked around the room and they don't really get the opportunity to do something formal. What will commander players have out of this event? Man, Brian, you bring up a really good point. Uh, just last weekend, I was at a, a very large event in a, in a major city, and they turned away Commander players because there was no more space. And that's just oh, something so that's, yeah. Ah, uh, there, was, there was about 15 of us that were going all day, and uh, it, was, it was really a sad sight to see that. Um, <laughs> we, we started setting up in the lobby. But yeah, uh, <laughs> I mean, right? we'll play Commander, anywhere. Right? Like, you know, it's a park <laughs> bench and we'll play. But it would be nice to, I mean, just having events where we can get together and play and even have some formal structure. Like, it's a casual format, but we all want to play and play different people. Oh, yeah. And, and, and here in our event, not only will there be uh, Commander Pods, you can, you can get yourself into a formal Commander Pod or a casual Commander Pod, and then there'll be. Um, some fun alternative ways to play Commander that you can that you could take advantage of. Random uh, table emblems and, and certain uh, aspects will add to different games for Commander players that truly want um, to come to an event for Commander and have a 
you know, a one time in their history experience. Excellent. I, I really look forward to this. I mean, having a modern event, there's been a lot of talk about where modern really is. Can you tell me a little bit about your thoughts and, and why you're focusing on modern as one of the premier parts of this event? Yeah, I saw the success with Eternal Masters. I think that that could not have been ignored at all. And I had the faith when planning this event and the foresight to, to realize that Wizards is pretty serious about supporting Eternal Formats now. And knowing that spring is, spring, spring is uh, modern season, it's a perfect opportunity to incorporate the new set with, with a great new company. So let's, uh, let's uh, chat for a little bit about the new set. What are your thoughts on Modern Masters 2017? Do you think they hit the right cards? What do you think? I think that they hit everything that modern players I mean, maybe the bobble is, is something that might be a little... <laughs> what is the bobble? Like I mean, 40 bucks right now? Oh my god! I hope that's going to be in a, a dual deck or something. That's crazy. But outside of the bobble... But like... outside of the bobble, uh, I, I do think that this this is a game that should be player-driven. Mm -hmm. Particularly at the modern format. That's something that, Brian, I know we've talked about a hundred times. And the, the power needs to be in the hands of the players. And they, there shouldn't be limiting factors like... Uh, you know, like fifty, like at no card should be fifty dollars to play in modern. I, I hate to say it like that, but but you should be able to pick these up. There is a place for collectors in Magic the Gathering, that, and and I think the collectors know where that place is. Uh, so if at any time I have the opportunity to help out the player and help out the community, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. No, I, I definitely agree that the price on modern should come down especially for things like fetches i am so glad those are printed at the rare level which is where they should be we're going to be averaging one fetch per box Let's take them. <laughs> right like those i happy to get those in the hands of as many players as possible because they're just staples for so many decks so i'm super happy about this set anything else that you want to let us know about either battleground about the new site anything else that's going on oh yeah yeah of course there's a, there's a lot going on the new site is going to have tons of content i want to focus on that um in addition to this video we're going to have plenty of of guest authors and um, guest youtube uh creators mm -hmm. that are going to help us out with content to ramp up to this event included are going to be several contests and raffles giveaways excellent expect all the crazy and you're going to get it it's going to be a circus on main phase mpg.net and then of course leading up to the event which is going to be a circus in itself right and i'm the ringleader <laughs> <laughs> well three, I... three major events going on at the the same time you know you have your your or in the same day at least you have your, your modern 2k event which is the largest event that i've ever run um also a standard championship and a commander championship so man man is it a lot to do and man is it something i think about every day Great. I, I am going to be out there. I will be there the second half of the day on the 25th, and I'm going to be out there uh, the whole week beforehand, and I look forward to playing some people at Commander and pretty much any other format. I'm bringing Legacy. I'm bringing Vintage. I will play anything while I am out there. I look forward to throwing down some cards. So. Yeah, you've been to a lot of events, and you've seen a lot of feature tables. This is the first and probably only tournament, <laughs> unless... Unless you come to more of ours, which I hope you do, <laughs> uh, that'll have two feature tables and one will be a feature commander match. Uh, <laughs> oh, that time. is so, great. So we're going to have to sit you right down there, and I'm sure uh, it's going to be a blast. Love to get in some games. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me today. I greatly appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing you out there. It's going to be a blast. Brian, it's been an absolute pleasure. Also, thank you to everybody who's over there on Patreon making this channel possible. And until next time, choose your cards wisely. Also, subscribe and check out the other videos, which should be around here somewhere. I'm still figuring out these new card things. If you're in DC, over the next week, hit me up for a game. Love to play some local fans. Take care.